incredibly scary for the people they're doing it to. Someone is impersonating a deputy and trying to scam folks in the Treasure Valley. Good evening. Impersonating a law enforcement officer is, of course, a crime. But the crime being committed in this case takes a new twist that you should be aware of. KTVB Shira Matsuzawa talked to some victims to find out what's going on. Shira? She, she joins us in the studio with what happened. And the woman I spoke with today didn't want to be identified by their last names or go on camera because they're concerned whoever is behind this may be local. But one of the women I posted, one of the women posted this on social media to warn others about what's happening. It, you, you feel violated, it's scary. Boise woman Mary, who did not want to go on camera because of safety reasons, received this text message from an Ada County Sheriff's deputy Monday. Only problem, the deputy didn't send that message. And it said, hey Mary, so it obviously looked like somebody who knew me. The message included a photo of the deputy with a link to support the local sheriff's office, but that wasn't all. I would, while that was going on, I got a Facebook message at the same time from a Facebook account, and they messaged me saying, hey, there's somebody posting bad things about you on Facebook. You need to go look. This time, the scammer tried to get Mary to click on a different link. She didn't, though, and instead shared the post on social media. It was just like, oh, my gosh, I just deleted that and blocked them, but same exact post, just different wording. Turns out Mary wasn't the only person who received these messages makes me feel uh, very just unsettled. Several others online say they have too, like single mom Melanie. Kind of slaps you in the face that there's some not good people out there and they'll try to take advantage of whatever they can to get a dollar. People are using an officer's picture to do this? I don't know. I just think that takes it to a whole other level. And one of our deputies that uh, their photograph was taken off of their a personal Facebook page and, and uh, this individual or somebody associated with them reach out to our deputy and committed this same crime on one of our staff members. We reached out to Ada County Sheriff's Office about this. No Ada County Sheriff's Office deputy is going to contact a citizen via Facebook, via text messaging, via any other social media site and ask you for a donation or money. Our advice right up front is do not follow any of these links. Uh, don't hover over them. Uh, don't click on them by mistake. I do want to mention that some of the women I spoke with have not officially filed a report with the Ada County Sheriff's Office, but here's what you should do if you receive any questionable messages. The Ada County Sheriff's Office says delete them immediately and block any numbers you may not recognize. You can also report it, which will tell you uh, how to do so on our website at KTVB.com.